Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I am very excited. We are continuing on with this series that we have created just for the holiday season. It is basically a holiday lookbook with a whole bunch of different outfits, makeups to go with it, just the full effect of like going to a holiday party, featuring holiday looks, doing all that fun holiday stuff that we have come to know and love for the December time of year. Today, we're continuing on with the ugly sweater portion of this here uh, little, little shenanigan, shindig, whatever you want to call it. So with that, I have five very wonderful ugly Christmas sweaters or Christmas themed things. They're not necessarily ugly. They're just uh, probably a little tackier than some people would say. It's not quite uh, couture, if you will. It's not a trash bag with, you know, tinsel on it. So it's not couture. Anyway, so today's, today's, uh, today's shirt, I'm going to show it off. It is a little, I'm pretty sure it's a sleep shirt if I'm being 100% honest. Uh, my mom got it on clearance after Christmas last year and I was like, <laughs> dope. So because you can't see the colors of the shirt, there is a very nice lime green and a very nice like turquoisey tealy blue on the hats of two of the sheep. And so to make it interesting, because basically all of my, uh, my sweaters are the same color scheme, I'm gonna do a look featuring those so it's a little bit different from the expected holiday looks. We're gonna do like a holiday in paradise, if you will. So yeah, without any more ramblings, we're gonna jump right into it. I am going to start off with a Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. It is a primer and a moisturizer combined. It has been cold here for about a week so far and immediately my skin began to bleed because as soon as the cold air comes in, it just cracks like crazy. So I can feel like the tightness in my face and not like a good way, not like my face feels healthy. It's like, it feels like it's gonna start bleeding in any moment way. So we're gonna use um, probably the primerizer for most of the season until it gets warm again. Um, and that just helps add a little bit of um, moisture and, um, ah, oh, it shot me. So this just does a really nice job of like making my skin feel a little bit more moist. <laughs> I'm sorry, I know people hate that word. But I mean, it says it is a moisturizer. It is going in there, it's adding a little bit of hydration to my very, very dry skin right now. And it just makes it feel a little bit better. So this will be probably a staple if you guys see me doing my makeup, which for this entire, entire series you will. So this will probably be the moisturizer I'm using most of the time. Um, and it does, like, it's really lightweight. I don't like a lot of moisturizers because they make me feel, like, really cakey and stuff like that. This just absorbs into your skin because it does have that primer effect as well. So it's really not trying to be really thick and cakey, which I really appreciate. Yeah, moving on. So, um, I do want to throw out there for you guys, we have mentioned it in other videos, but for the holiday season, we have decided, I think it'll be most effective. Instead of doing a Christmas giveaway, we're going to do an after Christmas giveaway. So that will be coming up. We're going to release that on Christmas day. We will announce it with the Christmas video. We'll give you all the good rules and rundowns and all that fun stuff. It'll be basically the same thing as last time. Um, we're really, really thankful for all the people who have joined our Dark Angel family. It has been just absolutely amazing to see how much we've grown in only, um, we started in July, so in only like five months. So it's crazy. Uh, it's crazy and we're so thankful and we're so grateful. And we wanna give some awesome people who have been supporting us some more awesome goodies, especially after the holidays when I have spent a whole bunch of money. I don't even know what I've spent at this point because we're filming a little bit early, but like I'm sure it's been a ton. So um, I'm sure that by the time I come up with all the products that will be in the giveaway, it's going to be a lot of crazy great stuff. You guys will get the chance to snatch it up. And of course, we, I mean, we love you guys. We're so happy that you've joined us, but we always want to grow and we always want to have more people come into the family and, and join our supportive little love, uh, love nest, if you will. That sounds so creepy. So creepy. Got any fun childhood Christmas memories you want to share with us, bud? No, I don't really have anything. Nothing ever really happens. Nothing ever fun happens. You've He's taken like six Christmas cruises in his life. I mean, that definitely happened once. I don't think I want... We did Thanksgiving a bunch. We did a bunch of Thanksgiving cruises. Because, like, no one goes on those. Yeah, that makes sense. Everybody's, like, waiting for Christmas. Pretty much, yeah. It's, like, it's cheaper. There's not as many people. That would be fun. It was nice. They did like a, they kind of did like a Thanksgiving style. Like I honestly, dinner on Thanksgiving honestly, if I had my choice of anything that I could eat on a cruise ship, Thanksgiving meals would not be what I choose. Just being honest. Yeah. Well, I mean, like I said, it wasn't all, it really wasn't thanks. It was like the, the European version of what they think Thanksgiving is. <laughs> Which was what? Like, like they did have turkey, but that was the extent of it like there was no stuffing or 
you know. Do like, they have mashed potatoes? Well, they always have mashed potatoes on the on the bar. Or not the bar, but like the buffet. Yeah. I found for Christmas. I found this website when we have like money. I'm going to order stuff from it. It's a mm-hmm. cartoon website where they can turn you into if they do canvases and frame pictures mm-hmm. and they put you in your favorite cartoon shows. Like they draw you in that style. They have a couple that they do. It's like the Simpsons, Bob's Burgers, Rick and Morty. Yeah. And the Bob's Burgers ones look so cool. Oh, they do? Yeah, they're awesome. And I, I, so I looked at it. It was like $75 and I was really like, oh my God, I maybe I'll get one for Nikki for Christmas and then we can hang it on the other side of the filming wall. Well, it's $75 just for the backdrop and then you add each person adds like an extra like $25. So if I wanted to put just the two of us in there, it would be like $130 or something like that after taxes. And then if I put the dog in there, it'd be like 160 So I was like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was great though. Like when I have money, because I'm all for supporting like artists and stuff. Because oh, yeah. it seems like it's actually like these are people who have actually, you know, gotten the licensing rights and they design it and they're doing all the, you know, from a smaller scale. Mm-hmm. So I would rather do that than like go through a, a corporation that's, you know just mass producing stuff rather than like actually hand drawing stuff so okay finally finished my eyebrows 375 years later i mean my favorite movie is die hard so my favorite christmas movie nakatomi, is die hard. Nakatomi. Nakatomi. i was trying to tell my dad about that episode because we were talking about die hard mm-hmm. and we were talking about we well actually we were talking about uh family matters mm-hmm. and um because Jaleel White, who played Urkel, is like, he's in a Christmas movie this year on Hallmark. Mm -hmm. My parents watch all the the Hallmark Christmas movies and all the Lifetime ones and all the upper band Hallmark ones. Mm -hmm. And they watch them year round and they watch all the other seasonal ones too because they're freaking messes. And no matter what, I don't do that. So like, I feel slightly better about myself when they do this, but like also like, I don't know. I'm just concerned. Some are, some are good. I'm not gonna lie. I've watched some that I've been like, that was a cute movie. But most of them are like so predictable and really cheesy and I just very am annoyed by it. But they were promoing for it and we started talking about uh, Family Matters and we were talking about, he was like, honestly, my favorite part of that show was the dad, the officer. And I was like, yeah, I was sad when he passed away. He didn't even know he was gone. I was like, dad, <laughs> it's been like six years. And he's like, I don't even know. But then we started talking about Die Hard. And, um, what is his name in that movie? I couldn't remember his name. Uh. Now that I've asked you, you won't Powell. remember. Is that who it is? Yeah, Officer Powell. Yeah, Officer Powell. It's such a good movie. And Rudy played Officer Powell in the Bob's Burgers. Nakatomi. Nakatomi, Nakatomi. So I have an idea for this look. I think it's going to be kind of cool. We'll see if I can pull it off well. But I'm thinking... So I have matte shades and glitter shades in both of the colors that I want to use on the eyelids. And I want to do like one eyelid in each color. But I was thinking I would do the inverse of the glitter shade on the inside of each one. So like one will be green and blue and the other one will be blue and green. Mm -hmm. No, that would be the same thing. Green and blue. I knew what you meant. I said it right. I just pointed wrong. I knew what you meant. I'm going to use the Moonchild palette. I'm going to mix blue and green because that's what the eye look's going to be. And they're both kind of subdued. So I'm going to do like blue moon and lucky clover and just do like a little bit of, a little bit of icy popping color on my cheekbones. Okay. So I'm just going to throw a bunch of palettes at you that I might use, might use none of them, might use all of them. I'm going to use some of them. Obviously I can't use none of them, but, um, I did pick up, pick up, I did grab the Off Tropic. It's got a lot of different, like, really pretty shades. There's a nice, really pretty glitter gold shade. And then there's just a bunch of, like, really vibrant colors. There's a blue and a green. Both are a little darker than I want to use. So I may not use those, but I did want to have it just in case I needed it. Um, The one I'm probably going to be using the most is going to be this Take Me Back to Brazil from BH Cosmetics. It is probably one of my favorite go-to like bright color palettes, but it has a lot of the shades that I'm looking for in those greens and blues right there. It's probably going to be a lot of this one and this one is what I'm thinking because those are like the colors that I'm really looking for. Then I've got the Zodiac palette from BH as well uh, because they've got some really pretty glitter shades in here and there's one or two that I was thinking would make a really nice like under eye look. Um, Mainly I was thinking like Aquarius, Sagittarius and Aries. Um, so yeah, so there's some good options in that one. And then I finally have for the glitter shades that I'm going to do on the inside of the eye, I've got my 
This is about the jankiest palette I own because it's like literally the first expensive palette I ever bought. Like it was the first name brand palette I ever owned. It looks janky as hell. It looks worse when you open it up on the inside. It is like, it is, it's old, but it still works. It's tried and true. So, um, and I actually have another one that's unused because when it started getting janky, I was like, I'm going to buy another one. Cause I actually really like this palette, probably more for sympathetic reasons, but whatever, but I'm going to use the green and the blue right here. I think those will make nice inside colors. So now that we've talked about it, let's just see what happens. That's like kind of how I just do everything in life. I'm just like, let's see where this goes. So this is just like a, it's like basically a colored crayon glad you asked let me explain it's like a jumbo eye pencil like a nyx so it basically it's like a really fat eyeliner but it's meant to go in there and give you like a, a base of color if that makes sense yeah. and um i like it for this purpose when i'm like trying to white stuff out like i'm gonna spoiler alert tune in next week uh, at some point we're i'm gonna do a candy cane eye look that's probably gonna be what's gonna happen on christmas is we're gonna do like i'm gonna have like a santa outfit and i'm gonna do like a candy cane eye look and this is probably what i'll use for that this and like honestly a lipstick mm -hmm. because i think it's gonna be the easiest way to go in there and like finally draw like the candy cane lines yeah. so tune in next week make sure you're subscribed it's not gonna be next week it'll be like three weeks from now it'll be on christmas but it's fine it's fine you get the point you get the gist well that's gonna take a minute to fix that like really packed on there but like in a very blotchy way because i use my finger mm -hmm. also the green glitter shade is not as like vibrant as the blue glitter shade which is kind of messing with my my life right now so i may have to go in and fix that too you know we're just here learning today just out here painting happy trees there's no such thing as a mistake just a happy little tree happy little accident i like kind of love this eye and this eye is just kind of like this one's not quite done yet, but like this one just, the colors, the colors were too dark. They, they look too similar, I think. Mm -hmm. That's how I'm feeling about them right now. Oh well, oh well. Doesn't match my shirt at all, except for those little uh, Santa hats. So, <laughs> I do what I want. <laughs> okay, so this is what it looks like before mascara. People are gonna look at me and be like, were you trying to go for an earth look? No I, like it. no, I like it too. I mean, it's very different and that's what like, I honestly, it's very hard this time of year to like make a different eye looks using the same, I mean, it's not hard. It's not hard. That's the wrong thing to say. It's just, it winds up looking a lot of similar looks because there's either like, you've got like your classic look and then you've got like bright colors, but they're all going to be like reds and greens and stuff like that. So I was like, you know what? I have the ability to use green and teal because of these little hats on these little mins. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And we'll mix it up because I'm here to not follow rules and I'm here to break boundaries and I'm here to mess shit up. Okay, so hopefully you guys like the look. It's a lot of fun. Um, I kind of don't know what to expect. Every time I sit down, I have like an idea of what I want to do and then we like see how it plays out when it actually happens. <laughs> doesn't quite match what the uh, normal aesthetic is but that's kind of why I like it so I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please hit the like button it definitely helps the page out a lot if you haven't subscribed please do so like I said on Christmas we will be announcing our next big giveaway it's going to be really really cool we've got some really awesome things included in it and um, I want to be able to give it to one of you lovely viewers and uh, the more people in the dark angel family the bigger the uh, the bigger the giveaways will get and the more frequently they will come. So please definitely join the family. Um, we love you and we are very supportive and we love that you guys are supportive as well. So yeah, it's just a great place to be in the YouTube, in the YouTube view realm. I don't know what I'm saying right now. I'm not even drunk. Anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying your holiday season so far. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and stay girly with a dark twist.